Outrocast. Well, Eric, I appreciate you taking the time. The new record is Crown. When did you actually finish Crown? Crown was finished at the beginning of 2020. Wow. Okay. So sitting mm-hmm. on an album that long, does that mean that the next three albums are already sc- uh, sketched out and ready? Basically, to- basically ready yeah. to go. <laughs> yeah, you've always been very prolific in your career because whether or not there's an album that year, you collaborate with a lot of other artists. So does that mean that you're really writing and producing something in some form every day? Uh, uh, that's pretty close. Yeah, pretty close. Some so, form, yeah. So do you have a, a rig that you take on the road for that kind of pre-production style? Oh, uh, man, I got a studio here in my home. So, you know, I, you know, my engineer is always accessible. And uh, if I got an idea while I'm on tour that comes to me on the guitar, acoustic, whatever. I just pull my phone out and capture the idea and, 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 and uh, round it out later on. Got it. Do you have one particular guitar that you do all of your writing on? <laughs> yeah, either this uh, uh, Paul Reed Smith acoustic that I use or my raw dog, uh, my raw dog uh, Magneto Sonic that I, my uh, signature model. That's interesting to hear that you're one of the people that can write electrically oriented things on acoustic. Has it always been that way? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Hmm. Yeah. So, so when you're writing, the effects are not in place. The effects and all that is one of, are among the last things that get put right. together. Right. And then where do the lyrics and the vocals lie? Is it always music first? Always for me, music first. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Is the song title the really last thing or does it go music first, then song title, then lyrics and vocals? It just all depends, man. Sometimes the song title is the last thing. Sometimes it's a song title that kind of fuels the lyrics, you know. Hmm. With with Crown, though, I, I love that thing that I read that you got Joe Bonamassa for the price of two Diet Cokes as his production fee. <laughs> That's yeah, I did. A great line. <laughs> I did. It's a true story, man. It's a really true story. And uh, I think that would be one for the record books that people say, um, um uh yo man this deal was done uh on a napkin for two diet cokes and look at where it has far succeeded to now you know what i mean so yeah uh, i'm pretty, uh, I'm, pretty I'm, I'm happy about that <clears throat> when did you and joe first meet 93 94 you know he was in bloodline i was touring with the eric gales band he opened for me and uh it was a pretty strong, pretty strong meet and greet, I tell you that much. You know, this dude was playing his ass off and it made me say, Wow, man, this guy is amazing. And we felt we felt the same way about each other, man. And uh yeah, that was that was where it started. That's interesting for me to hear. When I find guitar greats, and I'm calling you a guitar great, you're not calling oh, yourself you. that. Thank uh, you, man. When I speak with guitar greats, I find they either hang out with tons of guitar greats and heroes or none at all. So in your case, you hang out with a lot of other guitarists? Not all the time, man. You know, it's when we cross each other's path is when, you know, uh, but predominantly, man, and, you know, I ride alone, man. And, 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 and that's not by force. It just happens to be that way, you know. But when I get around my, you know, peers and colleagues and, you know, we do our best to try to get together, man, you know, because everybody's career is going different ways. You know what I mean? So it's not quite often that we do unless we're touring together or, you know, something of that nature. Well, another thing that I find cool about you beyond the playing, beyond the songs, beyond the output is how all over the map you are with genres. Like I can't just call you a blues guy. I can't, are you a hard rock blues guy? I, I have no idea what you are. But I could never figure out, was Van Halen an influence on you? Yeah, uh, Yes, uh, man. It, 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 I have a trick bag, and there's a, a bunch of different influences and, and inspirations that's in that bag all the way across the board, from one end of the spectrum, if there's an end of the spectrum, uh, to the next, you know what I mean, and everything in between. So I like it all, man. That's from styles, influences, uh, guitar players, you know, artists, 
singers, keyboard players, trombone, trumpet, horns, you know, violinists, celloists, you know, all the way across the board, man. Marimba, a vi uh, uh, vibraphone, you know, timpani players, everything, man. I am, I find an inspiration from, you know, and it impacts me in ways that it comes out in my own stuff. So I'm glad you brought that topic up because, you know, you know, I'm just labeled easily as a blues rock uh, uh, artist or whatever. But when you dig deep and listen to and listen and especially live, man, everything that I got going on, it's nuances of R&B, hip hop, gospel, blues, funk, you know what I'm saying? Classical, rock, everything, everything in between. Yeah. I don't I don't think anyone else has collaborated with both Joe and the Three Six Mafia. I think hey, man. the only person. Hey man. <laughs> so you you know, you've kept very busy as a recording artist and a touring artist. What's life like for you when you don't have to create and you don't hit the road? Do what do you like to do for fun? Man, I got I just answered the same question just 10 minutes ago. There's a series of TV shows that I like watching, and I got a whole full schedule every week that, you know, like something like two or three shows on Monday, two or three of them on Tuesday, five of them on Wednesday, four of them on Thursday, two of them on Friday. You know, uh, it's pretty intense, man. I like, you know, my, my shows and stuff, man. Are you a crime drama guy, a reality show? Like, do you like the dumbest reality show on the planet? I, I re the reality show, not, not really, you know what I'm saying? But the crime show, the ID channel, Law & Order, Chicago PD, all the Chicago shows, uh, 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 911, Good Doctor, Sisters, The Oval, uh, Blacklist, WWE, you know what I'm saying, Dateline, all this is my whole schedule all week. You just said the magical word, WWE. Are you also an AEW guy? I don't watch AEW, but I am a fan, you know what I mean? Because I'm yeah. so occupied on five other shows that I watch on Wednesday night. You know, I, I I don't, you know, but I'm a fan of wrestling, man. And uh, I am just looking forward to the day that I get an email that says we want you to do a song for one of the artists. You know what I mean? Because I've been a WWE fan since I was a kid. I think I might be able to introduce you to somebody. We'll take that one offline. But the Dude. bottom line is what I've just learned about you, the fact that you watch procedural shows and WWE, I'm an even yeah. bigger fan of Eric Ailes now. <laughs> Thank you, man. Appreciate it, bro. <laughs> and then uh, you know, the, the last question I have, because let's the whole world wants to speak to Eric Ailes today, is you said up top, hey, this album crown was done early 2020, got more stuff done. Any idea when we might see even another record for those of us who are just hungry for much more? Man, I'm going to tell you that I have a double acoustic album, believe it or not, that is I, that I worked on all during the pandemic, man. And um, it's at least 18 songs, 18, 19, maybe 20 songs, man. And this is uh, I'm very, very much so anticipating that because it's going to it's going to change the world, man. You know, it's going to change the world. And uh, that, you know, maybe we see in 2023. I don't I'm not sure. Maybe 2024, uh, 2023 maybe uh, uh you know uh, a live album you know what i mean so uh we, we 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 got some stuff on the horizon i'm looking forward to that and i hope to see you live in new york in the very near future till then thanks for your time and thanks for the many years of great art thank you my friend appreciate thanks. it bro Outro.